Hello everybody, welcome. As you can see, I'm just giving this clay here a few turns. Using this spiral kneading technique. Now, that reminds me, I need new batteries for my, my scale. Don't I? La 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 la. Well, uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you. <laughs> ah. Yeah, I just remembered. Need to put some new batteries in my in this guy because he's dead, isn't he? Da -da. So Aha. We're in business. So, 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 pull back a touch so I can greet you and say hello. <laughs> Hi there. Um, what we're doing is actually carrying on with that, what I call a flamenco oil jar that I'm in the process of making. And what I've actually got to do now, I've got to make the spout, you see, for this guy. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to weigh up over there some clay for, to make those, to make those spouts. And... That's four ounces. Four ounces. Yeah. So I thought we'd, we'd, we'd do a little clip on how to throw spouts. So... Because that's something that's not always that easy to do, is it? To throw a spout. And, um, you know, you can make a nice teapot, but then if you make the spout and make a mess of the spout, it just doesn't look right, does it? So I've got myself four lumps of clay. Let's go to the wheel. Let's go down here to the wheel head. And... Let's talk about making spouts, how to do it. Uh, da, da, dee. Those there. Let's get in here a little bit like that and we can talk about making spouts. There we are. So, um, right. So I've got myself 
four lumps of clay here, okay, they're, they're four ounces each. Now you can make them bigger and smaller than that, but that's just, this is just, uh, let's say, let, this is what I, I'm going to use today anyway to demonstrate this. Um, now, throwing small is is somewhat of a challenge, isn't it? It's it's rather fiddly. Anyway, let's see how we get on. So basically, you've got to. Center the lump of clay. Now you're probably not going to see much of the lump of clay at this stage because it's it's hidden it's hidden with my hand. And then what you want to do is is flatten the lump of clay, flatten it. Like that. And then we're going to we're going to break in in the middle here, you see, like that. Now go right the way, right the way down to the wheel head. Now let's just talk about the, you know, each every, spouts vary, you see, according to to what you want them for. Well, this is not a teapot. Now this is a little bit of a different kind of spout. Uh, I, to be honest with you, I don't think I've ever made a spout quite this shape before. But we're going to have a go. So what you need to think about is that width at the base of the spout, you see, there, across there. Now this one is a little bit... Well, this is made of gla from glass, so it's a little bit different. I'm going to go about making this in my own way. I'm using this, you see, as an inspiration. I'm not trying to do a direct copy of it. I'm loosely copying it and adapting it to my own design. Okay, so that width there is going to influence a little bit the width that we're going to need here. All right? So, let us see. Now, because this is a small lump of clay, fairly close to the centre of the wheel, you don't want to be going too slowly, you see. Generally, the nearer the centre, up your speed a bit. Alright, so we're going to... I'm going to up the speed a touch. Okay, now I'm going to go down to the wheel head and I'm going to widen it, okay, on the inside there. You see how I'm widening it? And then pinching it, and pulling it up here like this, you see. So we're making a beginning, we're making a start. Now, so you want to pull up a cone, you see. But then you want to you want to collar it as well. You got to keep it collared in. right the way down, curling my finger around like that as I push it in, getting right into the, the corner down in here, you see? Dee, 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 dee. Pulling up. And closing. Now, this particular spout has got an extremely small hole. When you're getting a little bit narrower in the top, you see, like this, you want to use your pinky finger and get him down in there like that. And then you use your pinky finger, you see, rest your, your, your left hand on your right hand like that. You see the, how they work together, this finger and this finger. Okay, you're going to use these like this, you see, watch. Pulling up. Okay. And every time you, you collar, it gets thicker. So you've got to 
bear that in mind. Okay, so I'm, I'm constricting, I'm colouring. Remember also, although I'm not really using six points of contact, because it's rather small, but I'm, 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 you've got to constrict the clay, you see, because when you, when you take that clay and you want to narrow it or color it, that clay has got to pass, the, the clay platelets have got to pass over each other in order to compress, you see. All right, there he is. So, um, how are we looking? Are we in the picture? Oh yeah, I'll tell you what we'll do, I'm going to do a couple or three of these for you and I'll get in a bit closer in a minute. I'm just, just showing you sort of like the broad, the, the, a, a wider angle for the minute, you see, okay? So, now, when you get, when you get very small like this, you can't even get your pinky finger in there. So, what you can do is take your sponge on a stick all right now if you've got a sponge on a stick that's got a decent narrow narrow stem like this one now if you don't have one of those you can just use uh, a chopstick okay a regular chopstick now if I if I've got one of these I put a bit of water in the top and then I can I can squeeze the water you see it and it can it can run run down you see how it's running down off the end of the stick there Okay, so that's going to that's gonna lubricate it. I'm going to use that, you see, and I'm going to use my, my hand here to work with the stick, pulling it up. Okay, so for every constriction, for every, sorry, for every lift that you do, constrict it as well. Until you just get it smaller and smaller and smaller D, 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 D. all right smaller and smaller now what you want to aim for is a nice curve up here okay a nice continuous steady curve Yeah, I was thinking, oh, I must finish off those um, the flamenco olive oil jar. And then I thought, well, I've got to throw some handle, uh, throw some spouts. And then I thought, oh, well, they're not going to be ready. I'm not going to be able to throw them and apply them. So I thought, well, we'll, we'll do a little clip on how to throw a spout, you see. Now, let's compare, let's compare the olive oil jar, the end of the spout, with that. You can see what we're, what we're trying to do, can't you? You see how we're trying to, what we're trying to aim for? Well, I'm not thinking I'm going to be going actually a lot smaller than that. Okay, using a stick or a chopstick or your sponge stick. Okay, right. Now what you can do is, if you've got one of these kidneys, you can use that, you see, because it's got a nice curve on it. You can use that to blend in the, cu the curve there, you see blend in and get get the profile nice okay okay And there he is. Take 
got a wire. Clean your wire. Push him down on the wheel head using your thumbs, you see. In that way, you've got control. You've got to get control of your cut-off wire because if you don't, you can ruin your pot just in cutting it off. Okay? Now you can pull this towards you or push it away from you. Okay, let's just pull it towards us. Slowly wheel speed and through like that. And there he is. Right. Well, that's, that's one. Let's, let's see if we can get him off in one piece. Bring a bat close to do this. All right, and he's going to go there on the board. Let's let's do another one. Now, because he, I went right through to the base, there's, the water is still there. So you're going to need to clean these off between between spouts. Okay. Now this is a, this is a fiddly bit, isn't it? Trying to center a very small lump of clay. But you'll do it if you practice. Right. Now I'm going to attempt to come in a bit closer. Hopefully it won't go out of focus. There he is. Right. So again, bearing in mind the, th the base width of your spout. We're going, to, we're going to break in in the center. Right the way through to the wheel head. All right, now I'm going to pull the clay across inside, which is widening it slightly. All right. Now, cone him up. This is like making a cylinder, isn't it? But you just keep it, you just cone it, you see? You just keep it in. He's a little volcano. Pulling him up. Narrow him. Always narrow him, but don't leave enough room to get your finger in it at this stage, okay? Make sure you've got enough water there. Taking the clay right down here at the base, all right, pinching it here between my thumb and index finger on the inside, and also using this finger, okay, and now taking up a roll of clay and pulling him up. And there he comes, you see, slowly but surely. Okay, now collar. Da -da. Okay, now this stage, you're going to collar him so far, uh, so, so you can get your, your pinky finger in there, okay? Now what did I show you? Remember this technique? Use your thumb here, resting on this finger. Alright, so you can, you can get a bit of support there then. So what next? Okay, let's let's take our sponge stick now. All right. If you dip the sponge in the water, you see, you let a bit of water run down the down the the stick. Okay. Try and find where the end of the where the when you put him in there. Try and. Try and line up your finger with the with the stick, you see. 
and then just move your finger up and pull the stick up as you go, you see. All right. Now we've got to do a little bit, a little bit more narrowing. It's a harrowing business, narrowing. Bring him up like that, you see. And he's getting quite, sm he's getting, getting quite small now, isn't he? Went at the end there, you see. Now, of course, these spouts are always trimmed off. You see, when you when you apply the spout to the the body of the pot, you 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 trim the end of the spout. Da, da, de, de. So that's that. Now let's take our our kidney. Okay, you're going to hold that using the curve here to blend that curve there, right? Now I'm using a mirror when I'm doing this because the mirror is my third eye and it's helping me see what I need to see and what I perhaps I, I'm, I'm blind to or can't see properly. With my, my two other eyes, okay? Hold him down, take him across. Okay, now what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to, to wipe your hands all right before you get this off now bring your bring your back close so you've got the least distance to travel and then carefully lift him up and put him put him on there now i'm going to do one more for you folks and this time let's see if we can get really up close Now, same principles apply to throwing any kind of spout, even a bigger one. Um, is the same. So, I think that's going to be a bit blurry, isn't it? Maybe, maybe we've done enough. Now, go on, we'll do one more. <laughs> Why not? Let's do one more. We've got him there ready. Really, the smaller the spout, you know, the, the, the harder it is, he is to make in some ways because of the fiddle. Okay, sort of centered but low like that. Break in with your with your index finger right to the right to the wheel head. Now widen that, you see? Widening them on the inside. Now collar him in like that. Da, da, da. Little volcano. Let's see if we can make him a bigger volcano. Like that. Narrow. Enough for my little pinky finger to get in there. Try and get your pinky finger down into the corner there as much as you can. 
pulling up. Working your two hands together, you see, this hand resting on this hand. It's important that, you know. You support your hands where you can, you see. How's that looking? E gathering up the clay, you see, from the bottom. Pushing here and gathering him. Restricting him, collaring him and lifting him up like that. Alright. Now it's time for our stick. So take your stick, put your stick in, find the stick if you can, and then try to find the stick, push the clay against the stick, and then as you push the clay, as you lift your hand up, up bring the, the stick up with your hand, you see. You can do it, just practice it. Okay, now finally, I'm going to just make him even smaller, narrow him. You saw he had quite a small hole, didn't he? Yeah. Okay, now take your your kidney, your rubber kidney, and clean away the slurry. You see that cleans it. That cleans it, makes it look a little nicer, but also. It helps you to be able to lift, lift him off the wheel. You see, if you don't clean him, you're not going to be able to get him off the wheel head because he'd be all slippery. A little tidying there, just with my my throwing stick. You see, all right. Now. Cut off wire, slow down your speed a touch, cut through. Okay, let's dry our hands on an old towel. Bring our others nearby here so we can only have too far to go. And then we're going to take him and lift him off and put him up there next to his brothers. And there you've got three spouts. What you'll notice though about the about this flamenco olive oil jar that the spout is not straight, the spout is bent over. That's gonna present some challenges for us, isn't it? So how am I gonna whoop not my mirror for six? Let's just put him on there a minute and focus and focus a moment there. Because, in all honesty, I've never done this before, like this. So the spout has got this last minute twist, you see. So, it's got quite a bend in him, you see. Quite a bend. In fact, yes. Hmm. 
And now I'm feeling all fingers and thumbs, you see. Let's uh, do another. I don't want to dis deform him, you see, because he's soft at the moment. Uh, maybe I should have left these a little bit to do this, to stiffen off a little. But as we're all here now, let's, I thought let's do it. So... Now you see, as I said, I'll get a blade and I'll trim these. I don't know if you noticed, but this this has got a very, very sharp edge to it here. It's been ground off right on the edge. And that actually gives a good pouring um, action. It doesn't dribble, you see. Well, of course, it's somewhat different when you're dealing with glass and when you're dealing with pottery. But, well, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully that will work. We'll have to play around with it, you see. It's all a bit of a, it's all a bit of an experiment, isn't it? <laughs> well... So there it is. That's just really a, a, a general clip on how to throw spouts. Uh, this last bit that I did here on the end is not what we normally do to a teapot spout, although some people do. <laughs> okay, folks, give it a go. If you're practicing this, this olive oil jar, this might be helpful to you. So... Um, please go to my website, simonleachpottery.com. We will be having some workshops. I've got behind with this winter and the cold and everything. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not really where I was expecting I was going to be at this time. I thought by now I'd be ready for some workshops. So I'm, uh, But anyway, persevere, hang on in there. In any case, the weather's not good for travelling. So um, probably... Uh, end of March, April, we should be putting some some dates up on the web on the website. Okay, for all those people that have written to me, and um, oh yeah, I should say there were a lot of people who did write to me, and uh, I think it was after we'd posted something about those uh, new trim tools, and for some reason, all all a load of emails all went into my spam folder. I never found them. <laughs> I did find them, I found them now, and I've answered, I think, most of them. So apologies for that, if you wrote. Um, so, yeah. Oh yeah, I should have some more of those trim tools, um, hopefully soon. So look out for those, I'll post them on the website, and I'll also, you know, when I'm doing a, when I'm doing a clip here, I'll talk about it. Okay? Hey. Thank you for joining us and keep practicing. <laughs> bye bye now.